Hello Internet, it is I, Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to the channel, part 23. We are now two videos away from reaching the next major milestone for the cancelled series, which will be part 25. I don't know when that video is going to get made, I don't know what I'll be talking about. Hopefully something insane goes down that day, but considering how unpredictable the cancelled series can be... I'm not going to make any promises about anything, but enough about the future. We're talking about the now, well, really the past, <laughs> because not only did this article drop over a week ago, but the movie we're talking about right now is a sequel to a film that came out over 30 years ago, and that movie is coming to America. Get it? They replaced the word 2, T-O, with the number 2, because it's a sequel, because they think they're clever. Are you laughing yet? God, I I hate movie titles that use the number as a pun. I hate it to no end. But yeah, Coming to America was supposed to come out December 18th. Now, it's, it, it's going to keep that release date. It's still coming out that day. But the way it's being released has changed. You see, instead of uh, going to theaters and being distributed by uh, Paramount, uh, it's now been sold to Amazon for $125 million, which I don't, I don't understand why. I mean, look, I know Coming to America, the original, I know it's a comedy classic, I know it's one of Eddie Murphy's best and biggest movies but seriously like <laughs> triple digit millions for this <laughs> i i don't get it but yeah if you were looking forward to seeing uh coming to america on the big screen sorry <laughs> it's time for you to get an amazon account or pirate it which i don't condone okay I don't condone pirating, but if the movie sucks, do what you want. <laughs> you know, save your money. It'll probably cost like twenty dollars or something. But yeah, that's all I gotta say about coming to America. Well, actually, no. The reason why I didn't cover this uh, when it first dropped was because I said this in my last episode. I only do a canceled episode if two or more movies have been affected. If it's just one, I'm not gonna do it because it's just. A waste of effort <laughs> and you know it's more interesting to talk about more movies there's more variety and it's just overall better but yeah coming to america can now join borat subsequent movie film on amazon that at least that movie <laughs> has a unique title and as you see the ad here is probably going to get this video age restricted so we need to move away now so yeah, besides coming to America, three more movies have been affected, and they have all affected the summer 2021 schedule. Those movies are Ghostbusters Afterlife, Candyman, and Don't Breathe 2, which I'm very excited to talk about. But first, we gotta talk about Candyman. Uh, Candyman. I cannot spell today. Candyman. Okay. Pfft, come on. Okay. So, we've talked about Candyman way too many times. <laughs> this is the fourth time now. What's the thing with Candyman? You have to say it five times. So, if it gets delayed again, then you m <laughs> I might not be on YouTube for very long. <laughs> but, you know... I'll take the risk. So, Candyman, which has, you know, the last time I talked about it, it was moved to 2021. It was just floating around in the ether for a bit. But now it has a, a release date now. August 27th, 2021. So, yay, I guess. Like, is anybody even going to care? I mean... <laughs> That's such a long time from now. 
And the movie was supposed to come out, like, what, four months ago, originally? It's gonna be so old and dated. <laughs> it's just... This is why constantly pushing back movies is a bad thing, because it's just... It's just not good. It's not gonna help the movie. It's not gonna help it age well. But, you know... At least they'll make money, I guess. Maybe. But yeah, the thing is about this August release date, it's not, it's not a bad release date. Because, for those of you who don't know, um, August has been a surprisingly decent month for horror. Uh, over the past few years, there was Don't Breathe in 2016, Annabelle Creation in 2017, We Don't Talk About Slender Man, <laughs> and... Uh, last year was Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. That did really well. So this August release date makes sense from a financial standpoint. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to say anything more about Candyman. I'm tired of talking about it. Talk about it ad nauseum. Let's talk about something different. So Ghostbusters. Haven't talked about that in ages. Like, since part four? God, that's a long time ago. Great, the Borat ads. This video is going to get age restricted. I know it because of Sasha Baron Cohen. But ignoring the ad. So, the last canceled episode, I talked about Jurassic World Dominion leaving the June 11th, 2021 release date. And I was thinking, what movie is going to fill that release date. Will it be Candyman? I mean, it made sense. You know, the original... <laughs> the Candyman's original release date was this June. Just push it back a whole year. I mean, it makes sense. Maybe it'll be Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman it seems like a summer movie more than a, a winter movie. But no. To my surprise, Ghostbusters Afterlife took the June spot. And apparently, that's the exact same weekend that the original opened. So, I guess they were like, March, eh, I don't know. Let's push it to June. <laughs> it's more fitting. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's better, technically. I mean, t Ghostbusters Afterlife was supposed to be a summer movie anyway. It was supposed to come out July. That obviously didn't happen. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I mean, it works, but I don't know. I don't know if anyone's willing to see another Ghostbusters movie after the 2016 one. That movie did some damage t to the brand. So, I don't know if people are willing to uh, give it another chance. But we'll see. We'll see. You know, I'm not going to give up on this movie yet. <laughs> We only seen one trailer. We need to see more footage before we get a proper, you know, look at the film. Because one trailer, it really isn't enough. So, uh, yeah. And then the final thing to talk about, and the one I'm most excited to talk about, is Don't Breathe 2 now has a release date August 13th. 2021 the same month as Candyman, so it's gonna be a fight between don't breathe 2 and candy man i'm hoping don't don't breathe 2 wins <laughs> that's what that's what i'm rooting for because i loved the original don't breathe from 2016 that was one of my favorite movies of that year one of my favorite horror movies in recent memory so i'm glad it's getting a sequel and of all the movies in 2021, I am definitely going to see it immediately if things are decent by then. If they're not decent, then we are really screwed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, really excited about that. And finally, a movie, a sequel that I'm, I'm hyped to see instead of all these useless, worthless, <laughs> unnecessary sequels that we've been getting in the past couple of years there's like men in black international who wanted that or dark phoenix or terminator dark fate just trash that nobody wanted and nobody saw so 
uh, that's it for this episode. Again, it wasn't super exciting, but thing I feel like things are finally going to slow down when it comes to delays because if you haven't heard, uh, New York has now been given the green light to reopen their movie theaters. Granted, it's not in all locations in New York. It's definitely not NYC. You can forget that. But pretty much everywhere else has been given the green light. So that'll definitely help the box office a lot. Because New York is a crucial market. That's the reason why you know so many movies bailed um, this year. Well, the past few months. Past, well, the past few canceled episodes is because without New York and California, there is no point in releasing big movies. You're just going to lose money. So nobody was willing to take that chance. And But now that New York has been opened up again for movie theaters, hopefully things will slow down. But you never know. Something could happen. And then we're back to square one. <laughs> but... Yeah, uh, that's it. That's all. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, turn on notifications, share, the whole drill. If you want to check out more videos like this, I got a playlist on the homepage. Canceled movies 2020, 2021, 2, 3, etc. Covering, you know, all the cancellations from when they started to now. It's a long, sad list of movies that have been affected so if you want to you know look at those go right ahead i've also made you know different videos about movies i have box office predictions for all the movies for 2020 well there's not too many movies remaining in 2020 so that's gonna end relatively soon uh there's also recaps. I go over monthly box office recaps. But again, the t the rest of 2020 is so sparse and so empty that I had to change those videos too. I have to do like two months in one video. So yeah, <laughs> you want to check out all those, go right ahead. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all. I am out. Goodbye.